Hey, curl friends. Not sure who's online. Um, I thought I would come on a little bit earlier today just to see who's here, who's hanging in the curl chat. What is up? For those of you who don't know, my name is Lavinia Latham and I'm your curl friendly lawyer. So I'm gonna wait and see who comes on um, before I jump into this super quick review. Tonight's episode, or tonight's Curl Chat Wednesday, is actually going to be a little bit uh, shorter tonight just because I'm super crunched with, like, back to school, um, like, just return to school for the new year, all that stuff. Hi, Carl. Hey, Moments by Design. How's it going? How's it going? So, yeah, this Honey's Handmade Haul, thank you so much for being a part of this and joining me. How is your week going? How is your Wednesday, your hump day, all those kinds of things? My day is actually pretty tiring, to be honest. Um, it was tiring, it was long, but it was good. Good work was done and that's fantastic, that's what we want. Hi Jazzy, how's it going, how's it going? So since a few of us are in here and tonight's time is just a little crunched, I'm gonna jump on into this. So these products back here are from my haul. Um, Moments by Design says I'm doing well, started a new running program. Wow, congratulations, that's amazing. Where are you doing your running program? Is that in your like neighborhood or like, is it at a gym? Like, that's really, really cool. I like that. Hi, love yourself. How's it going? Oh, the Curl Friend Crew is right and tight tonight. Welcome to tonight's Curl Chat Wednesday. Of course, we're talking about um, these products right here. These are Honey's Handmaid's products. Um, hi, Allison Terrell. How's it going, Curl Friend? What is up? What is up? You guys are so fantastic. I'm glad to see that you guys are doing well. And you know, everybody seems to be in good spirits despite this pandemic situation. I kind of feel like this is like a new normal now. Like we might as well just get used to it kind of a thing. But um, Moments by Design, it's a YouTube program. I do it right in my living room for now. That's fantastic. So it's like a running in place type of thing. YouTube's amazing for that. Like you can find like hair, makeup, fitness, nutrition, money. You can literally find everything, which is amazing. For those of you guys, you guys might have recognized um, the background's a little bit different. Um, I thought I would switch it up a little bit today. Um, usually I'm in like the office portion of my apartment, but today I'm actually just, you know, making it a little bit more comfy for us all. So um, Allison Terrell, I'm blessed. That's amazing. God is so good. Being blessed is exactly where you want to be at, for sure. So let's jump on into these products. All right, so we're gonna start off with, let's start off with these. So these are the deep, I could have sworn I had more than three, minutes. anyways. These are the deep conditioners. So this one right here is the um, Righteous Roots. What is it, Righteous Roots Manuka and Marshmallow Roots Deep Conditioner? Um, this one's actually, it says it's a moisture minute deep conditioner. So Honey's Handmade actually has a bunch of these like tiny mini um, conditioners that you can use. I would say that if you've got fine natural hair, you're probably going to get like two or three uses out of this, um, which is fantastic. So this I would consider to be a moisturizing deep conditioner. Um, the packaging's actually kind of cute. I'm sorry for the lighting. The lighting's actually pretty bright, but... Um, so in terms of ingredients, this has got water, veggie emulsifier, manuka honey, marshmallow root, pro vitamin B12, saw butter, slippery elm, cocoa seed, horsetail, and Madagascar vanilla. So those ingredients are actually pretty cool. I think that like I haven't really seen these types of ingredients before, particularly the Madagascar vanilla. That's a new one for me. Um, and the veggie emulsifier. I like the fact that like all of the ingredients are pronounceable. All of the ingredients sound like good things to put in your hair. They're very natural based, um, Ayurvedic in nature, which is if you've been following like the channel a little bit, you've seen that like there's been a progression over towards like more Ayurvedic ingredients as opposed to like synthetic stuff. Um, is particularly the last post that I did, um, which was Monday night's, uh, Monday night's product review on the Shebe USA products. So, if you guys haven't checked that out, then definitely check it out after this live because their products are actually pretty good. Like I, I have seen like strengthening effects. Like it's not just product claims. I feel like when 
you're dealing with Ayurvedic products, it's actually, or natural based products, it's actually like really working. <laughs> it's not just product claims. Um, in terms of the scents, you guys, of this moisturizing deep conditioner, ooh, I got a little bit on my. Ooh, this one kind of smells kind of like candy. It has that vanilla scent. I'm guessing that's the Madagascar vanilla in it. Um, and in terms of like what it looks like, kind of looks like that. So it's a very lightweight product. I feel like all of like Honey Handmaid's products are pretty like lightweight in nature. So I haven't tried this one yet, but you guys let me know if you want to see a full scale product review of any of these products, then let me know. And I'll definitely add that to the roster of new videos to come down the pipeline. So again, that's the Righteous Roots Manuka and Marshmallow Root Deep Conditioner from Honey's Handmade. Continuing down that line, um, this one's the Hawaiian Alea Red Salt. There you go. So this is the, um, the Hawaiian Alea Red Salt. It's the Balancing Deep Conditioner from Honey's Handmade. And this one says, and all of these are about two ounces, you guys, so... Um, two ounces, 60 milliliters. Um, this one says that it also has water, veggie emulsifier. Now it has Hawaiian alea red salt, sal butter, slippery, slippery elm, coconut oil, marula, horsetail, and vitamin E. So again, I would call this a moisturizing deep conditioner. It actually says as a product claim that it's for balancing and hydrating, anti-dandruff scalp treatment, and it also absorbs excess oil and moisture to prevent fungal growth. Hi, Miss CN. Hi, PSR076. Welcome to the Curlfriend Crew tonight. Um, yeah, so you you guys, if you're needing moisture, these are really fantastic products because they are, well, the ingredients anyways. Like a lot of the products that I mentioned on Fine Natural Hair Rocks have really fantastic ingredients. So it's not just that the product is telling you that you should purchase this particular, or sorry, that it has this claim of hydration. It's natural Ayurvedic ingredients. And so you're actually going to get the slippery effect, the hydration effect, the moisturization effect from all of those products. So yeah, this is the Hawaiian Alea Red Salt. Next up, we've got this product right here. This is the first strengthening deep conditioner of the bunch. This one is the sea moss. It's called Maca and Bamboo. And it's for health, it's a healthy hair growth mask. So that tells me right away the fact that it's a healthy hair growth mask that is for strengthening, it's not for moisturization. Um, hi, Jason Duval, there's quite a few of us today. You guys, thank you so much for joining the curl chat. If you aren't subscribed to Find Natural Hair Rocks or the button down below is red, go ahead and hit that and also hit the notification bell so that you never miss another video. And I always post natural hair videos. I'm gonna start posting some fashion videos as well um, and some entrepreneurship and online um, business videos too. So in terms of the ingredients, I don't know if you guys can kind of see that. I'm going to read them to you anyways. But it also starts off with water, veggie emulsifier, bamboo, maca, sea moss, cucumber extract, green tea, horsetail, soybean, mora. I don't know what that is. If you guys know what that is, it's spelled M-O-W-R-A-H, agave nectar, and olive fruit. Like, these ingredients, you guys, like, unmatched. Like, I haven't seen these types of ingredients in any of my other products, which is what really excited me to purchase them and to try them out. I actually also really like the fact that, like, they're only two ounces. And so, um, you know, you use it once, you use it twice. If you like it, you like it fantastic. And if you don't like it, like, there's only two ounces left. So, I mean, Fine Natural Hair is also so um like it, it's not so dense to the point where like i do feel like you could get like i can anyways get at least two uses out of this which is really all you need to tell like whether how you like it is the product working for you does your hair feel better after you're done using that particular honey's handmade product so that's a really good thing right um let's talk about the co-wash because there's some skin products there too so this is the Honey Handmade Cleansing and Clarifying Co-Wash. Uh, this I did get a chance to use. So um, I'm going to open it on up. This one kind of smells like, I don't know, like it's not the best of scents. It's not a bad scent either. It kind of has like a buttery, oily scent. Um, 
yeah, like it kind of, you know, oh, you know what it smells like? It smells like blue grease. That's what it smells like. And the, the texture is actually kind of like a medium texture, like a medium. Yeah, so there it is right there. Um, it's, it's like a medium texture, medium thickness. Like it just smells like grease. Like something about it reminds me of like blue magic. Let me know in the comment box below if you guys know what blue magic is like, if you guys know exactly what the blue magic grease smells like. Cause to me, that's what this, this product right here smells like. Moments by Design says, yes, I like that they are small so you can try them, but if you don't like it, you're not stuck with a huge jar of something you can't use. Exactly, and you know what? It's perfect for like product junkies. It's perfect for you if you are somebody who has like a natural hair care brand or like a, a, you know, like anything, like a social media that you do these kinds of things on. Cause like, yeah, like you said, Moments by Design, like if you don't like it, that's fine. Like you just chuck it use it up and done and you don't feel like you've lost a lot of money because they were actually pretty like cost effective too like i think it was only like four dollars us or something like that like they weren't expensive at all moments by design lol come on blue magic <laughs> exactly i swear it smells exactly like blue magic and maybe like no it just smells like only blue magic like i don't know why it smells like that you guys i mean that's interesting but um and I'm trying to figure out like what ingredient in here has it smelling like blue magic, but for some reason that's what it smells like. Missy N, I wish all brands did this because I have a nice box of unused stuff. Me too. And you know what? That's why Missy N, I actually was hesitant to purchase new deep conditioners, especially a deep conditioner that's moisturizing and hydrating in nature because like I just, I have too many now. Like I think Maybe one of these days I'll do a deep conditioner haul, but like I have just way too many of them now. And so the fact that like these are so tiny, like it doesn't make me feel that bad because it's like two uses and it's done. Like there's no way I'm gonna, you know, these can't be wasted. Like the chances of this getting wasted is like slim to none because they're so tiny. Um, and it's a fine hair, again, it's a fine naturals best friend because like you're gonna get like two product uses out of it, right? Hi, Zandra. What is up, girlfriend? Love yourself, says so she still uses blue magic. Hey, girl. Yes, if it works, what's not broke doesn't need to be fixed. So love yourself. I'm totally with you on that. If blue magic is working for you, definitely keep on using it. Definitely. I'm good, Zandra. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you for making it out tonight for Curl Chat Wednesday. I really do appreciate you. And I mean, these honey handmade products, like I've been, sorry, you guys, my eyes like bothering me right now for some reason, but I've been so excited to try this out with, and like, you know, just bring the haul to you guys and bring the products to you guys. Um, because for so long, I've wanted to try it. You can't purchase honey's handmade in Canada. So I did have to purchase these products off of the U S website. So that's one drawback from the company. Like if I fall in love with something from the line, it's going to take forever to come, <laughs> like literally forever. Um, my, I bought these products back in like end of May, I think it was. End of May, you guys. And I only received them like beginning of August. I mean, granted, we're in a pandemic. Granted, I understand that product supplies are low and it's difficult to get ingredients and like all that stuff in terms of like product development and, you know, whatever. But three, four months is a little ridiculous. So that part I wasn't very happy with. Um, in terms of the co-wash... The ingredients has distilled aqua, soap root, honey, fenugreek, yogurt, unfiltered ACV. Um, I think that's apple cider vinegar. That's what I think that is. Uh, apple seed, almond, and castor. One thing that I don't like about this brand, um, this the packaging itself is actually made of paper, like just paper. So I think it's because they're still relatively new. Like they're still in product development stage. But if you guys can see that, like, that got wet over there. And so because it got wet, it actually started to rip. And like, I like packaging on my products. I like my products to still look good. Um, and yeah, this one kind of just is falling apart. So like, I do feel inclined to like, maybe put like some, like something on it, maybe like a tape to cover that part up. Cause yeah, like it's ripping and all of their products are like that. Like the packaging on it, the labeling, it's not going to be resistance against, against water. So you might want to not get that, um, try to avoid getting it wet. So this co-wash is a moisture replenishing from their moisture replenishing collection. Um, so yeah, this is going to give you moisture, not necessarily strengthening effects. So let's see what you guys are saying in the curl chat. Naturally, Zandra, I haven't tried Honey's Handmade, but I have had my eye on it. 
They're good products, Sandra. I think the ingredients are nice. Um, I didn't see anything in there that was awkward. They are a small company, so I hope it's not, I hope it's that the ingredients are just truly super um, Ayurvedic and super natural in nature. I hope it's more of that and not just that like ingredients are missing because from my understanding, at least here in Canada, like whatever's on the ingredient list actually, like whatever's in the product actually has to get onto the ingredient list. I don't know if it's the same in the States, but I know here in Canada, like you can't just list, you can't just omit ingredients off of a product label. So I don't know. Um, but PSR 076, wow, May and received in August. Yeah, girl, like honestly, I was like low key ready to cancel the order. Like that's how long it took. And I consider myself a pretty patient person. I mean, at least when it comes to my products, like, and the pandemic, like I get it, it's a pandemic, products take long to come, all that good stuff, but May and then August, like, that's pushing it, sis, you know, you know? Messy N, yes, it's a pet peeve for sure. She's like, that kind of sucks that the labels aren't waterproof because if you like something and the label fall off, you don't know what to buy again, exactly. That was precisely my problem um, with it moments by design, like, you just don't know. And on top of it, like, because I am a natural hair influencer and, you know, we're doing this in this space, it's it's difficult. Like, I, I need to be able to know what my products are. And, yeah, that's just really unfortunate. Naturally, Xandra, laugh not loud. Girl, you saw I won Gigi's oil. That's Ayurvedic. I'm so excited to support a fellow curl friend. Congratulations, Xandra. So you guys who don't know Gigi, Gigi is another curl friend of ours. She runs a brand called Bell in Bloom, and she recently dropped a new line. I forgot what the line is called, but it's a beautiful packaging. It's a very nice line. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to see a fellow curl friend creating a brand and like doing really well and having like a, a giveaway and stuff like that. Like that's just so exciting and so fantastic. So congratulations to you, Zandra, and super duper congratulations to Gigi for her new product line. Like that's really, really cool. I love it. Um, Alison Terrell, I have a few Honey's Handmade Deep Conditioners. I haven't tried them yet. Yeah, yeah, neither have I. Um, I guess, Allison, you and I are in the same boat. So um, I guess we're going to be trying them together. I don't know. But maybe when my video comes out, maybe you and I can share thoughts on it um, when I finally do a product review after having done um, tried out these products or these deep conditioners. Xandra, I can't stand when a product label falls off. Yeah, neither can I. Like, honestly, like, I am going to go ahead and tape it up to make it waterproof because um, I don't want that to happen. Like, I, I, I really don't want that to fall off completely. Yes, Garden of Bloom. So her brand is called Garden of Bloom. And if you wanted to check Gigi's brand out, you could definitely check it out on uh, Instagram. It's called Garden of Bloom. Um, Moments by Design, let's chalk it up to the pandemic. Maybe the shopping time won't be so long after this. Yeah, you know what? That's exactly what I'm chalking it up to. Um, I know there's another product line that I think has issues with like um, stock and like restocking and they're really, really good. Like I've fallen in love with Sultanicals products and they are just so difficult to get your hands on. Like I think they're having like a restock sale on like the fourth and then they're having some more products again. I don't know, but I find the good stuff is the ones that are hard to stock up on. Like for some reason, like everybody knows they're good and so everybody rushes it. And then it just creates like a bottleneck and then there's no more products available. So um, if you're in the girlfriend crew right now, you got the heads up that um, at least not for Honey's Handmade, but Sultanicals is having a super duper sale. They have like seasonal items coming back in stock on the 4th. And then on the 11th, I think they're restocking everything. So yeah, that's a little tidbit. <laughs> um, Xandra, yes, girls, go support a fellow girlfriend as well. I still haven't tried Sultanicals. Ooh, Xandra, you're going to love Sultanicals. Sultanicals are really on point. So let's talk about, um, oh, maybe I could give you the experience I had with the co-wash. I can't really give you guys an honest, well, I can give you an honest review because um, I've used it, but I can't give the product a fair review because my hair is not in need of moisturization right now. It's still in need of strength. So this particular product right here is fantastic for moisture. Like if you're trying to moisturize your strands and you don't want to go through a full wash day, this is really going to help you put the moisture back into your strands using just a co-wash. So for now, like I've used it one or two times and it literally like exacerbated my over-conditioned, over-moisturizing um, situation. So I'm not using it anytime too soon. Again, I'm really just focusing on strengthening and detoxing my hair. 
Um, but when I am ready to use it, this stuff is on point. Like once the winter rolls around and my strands are parched again, this is the stuff that's gonna really help to like correct that situation. So yeah, this is the co-wash and it is called the Honey Cleansing and Clarifying Co-wash from Honey's Handmade. Next, we've got the Honey Healthy Hydration Hair Mask. And as you guys can see, this product's not open yet, but like right up there, the product is actually wasn't packaged properly. And so it's seeping out of the actual product itself. So I'm not too happy about that. Um, I haven't even opened it yet. Like it's still, it's still in the, in the wrap. I'm not going to go ahead and open it just because I've got like a lot of product. And once you open a product, you start the clock basically the timer on expiration and because these products are so natural um that expiration truly is that expiration <laughs> so um at least if i never get to it or it's taking too long um it's sealed and i can certainly give it away and use it in a giveaway or something so i don't want to go ahead and open it but i can give you guys a rundown of the ingredients um before i do that let's see what i see here in the product in the curl i'm so tired you guys in the curl chat Xandra, I'm not willing to use my budget for it yet, lol. That's why I'm scared because I feel like I would get addicted. You totally would get addicted to, to, to Sultanicals. Like, Sultanicals is one of those lines that, like, I'm, like, low-key starting to think that, like, it's between Sultanicals and Curl Origin that are, like, my new favorites. Like, everything that I try from Sultanicals just works. And I'm hoping the same thing will ha Well, I'm hoping slash not hoping that the same thing will happen for Honey's Handmade because, like, again, like, Honey's Handmade is not available in Canada. No one carries it. The only place you can get it from is Honey's Handmade. And Honey's Handmade is based in Florida. So for that reason, I'm hoping that my hair doesn't like it as much. But um, the packaging is really cute. Like, I, I think it's worth at least trying, especially if you're in the States. And they've got really fantastic deals. Um, a lot of these deep conditioners were only like four bucks. So that that's decent. Moments by Design, I just started buying products made by us for us. I'm late to the game, but I finally started. I just bought some Camille Rose products, which I love. Camille Rose has really nice products. Really, really rich, really fantastic ingredients. Um, some of the bigger ones I noticed, like the bigger brands, like Camille Rose, Viel Organics, Tijin, um, their products are amazing. They've got fantastic ingredients, but I have noticed a trend whereby the bigger a brand gets is the more they start using synthetic ingredients or like ingredients that are, are derivatives of some type of a chemical so like they're like lab created whereas when you get to the, like the ground like the grassroots businesses you know the early small businesses they're still using very very clean very very expensive ingredients that are just like so good for your hair like your hair's just gonna eat it up right so that's the reason why like i kind of prefer these smaller um companies because once they get put on and they have they're forced to make more and you know like naturally speaking like if you've got to put a lot of product out you got you they need to last longer on the shelf right so um for that reason i can see why they do it but um the end product is usually better when the ingredients are more natural in nature um xandra girl is better late than never stay home <laughs> um i think i missed something there xandra Forgive me if I'm slow tonight. I'm extremely tired tonight. So please forgive me if I'm slow. Moments by design, honey. Oh, okay. You guys are chatting with each other. Um, you're cycling the black dollar in any way possible. Yes, recycle that black dollar 100%. Um, Xandra, I have to catch them on a sale, girl, because I never have the extra money when they have it. Yeah, the sales are really, really good. Like, especially if you're someone who has a lot of products, buy them on sale. Please buy them on sale. I only buy my products on sale. I do not pay full price for my products ever. Um, if I'm not getting the product for free, I'm not buying it full price. Like I just have too much products at this point. I don't need more. Um, whatever I like, I just wait for it to go on sale. All of these products I did purchase on sale with the exception of maybe, no, they were all on sale. I was going to say with the exception of this, but this was actually on sale too. So um, yeah, like all of them were on sale because like there's no real need. Um, and that's something that I kind of learned from like my mom and older generation of women, like purchase things on sale, stock up so that you can kind of, you know, have the upper hand when it comes to like waiting for the best possible price possible. 
the best price. <laughs> uh, moments by design. Watching the influencers finally convinced me I could get much better hair results if I would use products with good ingredients. Yes, moments by design. It really does make a difference when you use good ingredients on your hair. Your hair is more plush. It, it falls out less. It's less brittle. Like just so many good things. Like synthetic ingredients will do what it says it's going to do. But I find with synthetic ingredients that it doesn't contribute to the long-term health of your hair. So it contributes to the short-term health. Like it looks good, but it's not necessarily getting much better, um, which is essentially the main problem that I have with the synthetic ingredients. Whereas if it's like a natural ingredient, it looks good and it's getting better. Like it's going into the cortex of the hair and it's actually making a difference. Um, love yourself very true. Xandra, I got to learn from you, girl. PSR 076, me too, always on sale. Yes, curl friends. I see we're all on the same wavelength here. Like sales are important, like especially we're in a pandemic money doesn't pick off tree <laughs> like yeah we need to definitely save our coin and make your coin stretch as much as possible make your money stretch make your money stretch um psr 076 is expensive in canada yes it is very expensive in canada you get taxed twice the dollar is weaker um and things are just overall more expensive like i mean there is a certain quality of life i guess that we pay for i don't know but or so they say um, and the healthcare system and all the other things that are, you know, beneficial of being Canadian, but it is expensive, way more expensive here. Xandra, I feel like I use sales except for new collections. Yeah, Xandra, you really are on it when it comes to those new collections. So that's the thing, like here on Find Natural Hair Box, there is a benefit to jumping on new collections, especially when everybody's hyping it and it's like all over YouTube and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know, like for me being in Canada, like a lot of these new collections originate out of the U.S. And because it's in the U.S., I'm going to it's going to take longer for me to get the product anyways. Chances are likely if I were to try to jump on the trend, by the time the trend, by the time the product gets here, the trend is over and my coin is gone. So <laughs> um, it doesn't really make sense. It really doesn't. Speaking of trends and speaking of products and speaking of access, I've actually got a brand new page that's coming to you guys. It's called Curlfriend Crew Discounts, and it's going to be available on FindNaturalHairRocks.com. So right now at the bottom of this video are a bunch of deals that are available just to the Curlfriend Crew. One of those deals is um, if you were thinking of purchasing the Revere, I actually have a special discount code for you guys where you could get 10% off the, the Revere and a portion of the sales. So commission, a small commission comes to Find Natural Hair Rocks to keep this um, content um, coming to you guys so to support the continuation of the of the the channel so not only do you get 10% off of your Rivera which applies to sale prices yes your girl negotiated that bit um, it applies to sale prices so you guys will gain access to 10% off I think the Rivera is like 349 US right now um, with 10% off like it's like 35 ish dollars but like every bit counts right so yeah I wanted to put that out there as well as of course there's still discounts available to um, the last uh, re product review that I did, which was on the Shebe USA, 15% off of those products. Um, there's no commission coming to find natural hair rocks, but not all of them are commission based. A lot of them are just like, uh, there's a deal that came to me because you know it's find natural hair rocks and it's for the girlfriend crew. So I'm passing on the deal to you guys because you guys are the girlfriend crew, right? Um, and then the other deal, of course, that's always there is Beauty Club Outlet, which is like 10% off as well. So I thought I would let you guys know that um, all that information is always at the bottom of the video and there will be a brand new page coming to FindNaturalHairRocks.com that's updated quite regularly with these deals as they become available. And I'm always fighting for more deals because I need my girlfriend crew to win. So <laughs> definitely, definitely, definitely. Um, let's see what's going on in the curl chat. Moments by Design, you taught me that Find Natural Hair look to look at the rock the ingredients yes ingredients are supreme forget about the product claims like it really doesn't matter that this says what does this one say let's see we're gonna read it together so this one says um multicultural hair product kinky curly afro textured wavy and straight you guys that means nothing to me they can put whatever product claims they want on their on their um products really and truly what they can't mess with is the ingredients by law, the ingredients have to be accurate. And so that's why I do with the ingredients. I really don't care what the product says. In terms of the product claims, I kind of like it, kind of, because it gives you a clue in to what the purpose of the product is. Um, so you can tell if it's like a strengthening product or if it's like a moisturizing slash hydrating slash 
nourishing product. Um, but that doesn't give the full picture. Like for me, that's just this, the, one of the steps in determining like, how would I use this? And then if I want to confirm and verify how I would use it, it's the ingredients that's going to give it to you 100%. Um, naturally, Xandra, yes, stretch that point. Absolutely. True, true. We have a lot of launches. Guys, buy the Revere because it's the truth. Yes, it's a really good product device. Like the other day I had to go to the salon for my regular like trim. And usually when I go to the salon, I would get my hair blown out. And then following the blowout, they would trim it, right? This time around, I didn't have to pay for the trim. Or sorry, I had to pay for the trim. <laughs> um, this time around, I didn't have to pay for the blow dry because I did it myself. So no wash, no blow dry. What would have been a $150 trip to the salon turned out to be like a 20 buck trip. Like it's 20 bucks trip. Like it's that good. Like it really does um, help, you know, save that coin. So, I mean, initially when I purchased my Revere, I didn't get a discount. But when I purchased my Revere, um, I was like, oh my gosh, this is a lot of money. But then I thought about it. I, I crunched the numbers and I was like, this is like literally three or four salon visits that I have in my back pocket to pop out whenever I want. And on top of it, it's less heat. And on top of it, it's super easy to use. And on top of it, it's faster. So these are all just like, the pluses are just racking up for me. Um, and so I'm really happy. Like three, four months later after purchasing it, I've used it about four times now. So in my view, it's paid for itself. And um, I'm very, very happy with it. No breakage, no, um, no situations, nothing like that. So it's really nice. Um, Xandra, that's a great idea to have a page for deals. Thank you. Yes, I'm here to serve you guys. Like I'm here to serve the girlfriend crew. I'm here to make your life easier. So if I come across deals and you know, it's, I have access to it, I want you guys to have access to it as well in a very easy to obtain manner. So I figured the best way to do it is to just pop it on the website as well as underneath um, the videos as well. Moments by design, come on negotiator, get us the deals. That's why we love you. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome, girl. You're welcome. Of course. Putting those legal skills to, to good use over here, you know? They're good skills in the courtroom as well as on the negotiating table. I got you guys. I got you. Zandra, ours is only $40 to $50 for that same thing in Ohio. Man, Canada is expensive. Yes, Canada is very expensive, you guys. Very, very, very expensive. Everything. Services, products, houses, food, water gas, you name it, it's expensive. It's more expensive here in Canada. Um, but yeah, so that's this. Sorry, kind of went on a tangent here. You see, I love you guys so much. I had every intention to only do this live for 30 minutes and then, you know, kind of like rest up or whatever, whatever. But you guys, I love you so much that like it always ends up being more than 30 minutes. Like you guys are amazing. So the last products that are available actually are not for hair, they're for skin. And a lot of you guys are always interested in like, what do I use on my skin? You guys have been asking questions about that. And so I thought that I would show you some of my new skincare products. So starting with this one, this one is from their Skin Deep collection. And this is the Honey's Handmade um, Strawberry and Cream Skin Silk and Body Cream. It's an eight ounce container. So I really love this because believe it or not, like, and I don't know why, but I'm slowly changing. Um, when it comes to natural hair ingredients, I'm all over it. When it comes to skincare ingredients, it's like, eh, whatever, I'll use the Nivea, I'll use the Dove, I'll use whatever's in the store, pick it up from Walmart and keep moving. But um, something around, something told me to purchase this and that something was a sale. <laughs> like, let's be real, I was trying to save money and I was like, oh, that's really interesting. Like the products, the product ingredients really jumped out at me. So I'm gonna share the product ingredients with you. Um, the ingredients are number one, water, coconut oil, high oleax, sunflower oil, cocoa butter, extra virgin olive oil, organic shea butter, steric acid, and jojoba oil. So as you guys can see, all of the products are very natural, or ingredients rather, are very natural in nature, um, minus the steric acid, which is like the second last ingredient, but certainly a more wholesome, natural product than like my Nivea or, or, or my Aveeno or whatever I would have normally used. Um, Zandra said, laugh my ass off that something was a sale. Yeah, girl, like, I'm only interested in random products when they're on sale. <laughs> like, I know, it sounds cheap, but you know what? Like, I wasn't always like this. I blame my husband, because initially I used to be that person who was like, oh my gosh, this is new, let me buy this, let me buy that, let me buy da 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 and buy everything, and then, you know, after have issues. 
But now as I've grown and I've gotten older um, and I've realized that I much prefer my money in my account, not in somebody else's um, shopping cart, <laughs> uh, I started to really only purchase things if they're on sale or if the benefits outweigh the costs. Um, and that's something that I apply to every single um, want to purchase. And I can talk more about money if you guys want. Um, this isn't for this video, but um, that's just a little bit of like, you know, where I, what my approach to um, this hobby of natural hair is of mine. So in terms of the smell, oh, so this one, I, I still have it closed. There you go. I don't mind opening this one because in Canada, the weather is cold and I don't have a lot of skincare products. So I will get through this because my skin dries out like no other. You guys, it's, it's terrible. Like once the weather hits, the weather hits. And I do feel like we literally have one or two weeks left of decent weather before scarves are needed and jackets are needed. So let's go with the scent. Let's see if this actually smells like strawberries. It doesn't smell like strawberries, you guys. <laughs> like, it doesn't smell like strawberries. It really doesn't. Um, I don't know what this smells like. It smells like nothing. That's what it smells like. Like there's no real scent to this. Um, and this is how much product I got. I haven't used it yet. So um, as you guys can see, there's quite a bit that's already scooped out. It's not filled up all the way to the top. That's fine. Um, but yeah, it does not smell like strawberry at all. So um, yeah. Let's, but it doesn't smell bad either. So if you guys are like somebody who doesn't like like a strong scent, maybe you're somebody who likes to wear perfumes and stuff like that. Um, this would be a good moisturizer that just is a moisturizer. That's it. You're not going to get a scent from this. So it's not bad. Um, it just doesn't smell like anything. So let's see. Facts. Uh, growth. Moments by design. Shoot, girl. That's called maturity. Thank you. Exactly. Right? Like when I was in my 20s, you guys, I was like, so impulsive like i was like a different person like if my 20 year old self or my 20 somethings year old self could see my 30 somethings year old self she would be like whoa girl when how slow your roll you are too boring <laughs> like zandra definitely need videos on it all yes okay okay zandra i will be doing some product review videos once i get around to them um, oh no, I love the smell of strawberries. Yeah, me too. When I saw this, I thought that it would certainly smell like strawberries, but it doesn't. And you know what? It kind of returns to my initial point when I was telling you guys that you really got to check the ingredients. Um, and nowhere on the ingredients does it mention strawberries. Nowhere on the ingredients does it mention fragrance. So that kind of makes sense to me why it doesn't smell like strawberries, right? Like it just smells like nothing. Um, and in terms of the product claims, so it doesn't have any product claims. But it does says to say to use on dry or damp skin as needed. Reveal softer, smoother skin with daily use. Um, it says this butter is loaded with good butters that provide intense moisture and help calm tight, itchy, dry skin. So I wouldn't know because I haven't tried it in that way yet. But um, yeah, I would say that, you know, it's a cream. So it would be a moisturizer. Moments by design. I'm mad at them for not making it smell like strawberries. I'm disappointed. But then again, the fake scent would have possibly been a bad, for bad ingredients. Yeah, you know what? I'm with you on that. Like, I kind of wanted it to smell like strawberries because I like the scent of that. But, um, excuse me, fake scents for sure. I'm with you on that. That would mean that something funky is in there that's not totally natural. So we've got two products left, one of which I've used. Um, let's go with the, this one. So this is the mint. Ooh, there we go. This is the mint chocolate um, skin silk and body cream. And again, from the, their, skin, their skin deep collection, in terms of ingredients, it's got purified water, coconut oil, high oleic sunflower oil, cocoa butter, extra virgin olive oil, organic shea butter, stearic acid, and jojoba oil. So I feel like it essentially has the exact same ingredients, you guys. Um, yeah, it has the exact same ingredients. Let's see if it smells the same. Let's see if it smells the same. So as you guys can see, haven't opened it yet. New to me, new to you guys, new to us both. This doesn't really smell like anything either. It kind of just has like the soft jojoba scent. Like that's what I'm smelling more than anything else. There's a little bit of product spillage that came out. So since it came out anyways, I might as well show you guys how it's going to go in on the skin. It feels nice. It's very buttery. 
Very, very buttery. I like it. it smells nice. It oh, it does smell like chocolate. See, fragrance is in there, and they didn't list it on the ingredients list. But um, no, it's, this one smells like chocolate. Like this one has a slight chocolate scent to it. I like it. I wouldn't say it smells like mint, but it definitely smells like chocolate. And I really like chocolate, so that's good. <laughs> Zandra, let's see. I like, like good smelling products. I feel like you can still smell good while being good for the hair. What do you guys think? I like good smelling products too. Like I like my hair to smell nice. I like when I wash it with something new that I'm trying and you know, hubby's like, what does that smell? Like that smells good. Like I like that. I like that too. I mean, fragrance is one of those things like it's not bad for your hair. It just doesn't add anything to your hair. Um, and the other problem with fragrance is that they could be using like harmful chemicals that can be disguised with just saying it's fragrance. Like you'll never know what fragrance it, fragrance is. You just know that it's fragrance and that's it. So that could be a problem too. If like you're really trying only to have natural ingredients. Um, this product I've been using, <laughs> you guys can see like I've gone in look at how much product has been used from this like and I just got it literally I just I really like this cream like this cream feels luxe like it really does feel like a luxurious cream so this is this again from this they're all from the skin deep their skin deep collection um this one is called electric lemonade skin silken body cream and if you you see there's the paper thing again like the paper is getting oily the paper is kind of falling apart like i really don't like the packaging material that they use for it um but i mean that's a small price to pay for a product that really does work quite nicely so oh my goodness you guys this smells so good this smells so so good like it doesn't it smells like lemon but it also kind of smells like um, something else. Like it has like a buttery lemon scent to it. It smells really, really good. Like, oh my goodness, it smells so good. It smells so good. Um, let's see, uh, Moments by Design, yay, it smells like chocolate, right? Right? Chocolate is a good scent, I agree with you. Zandra, um, terrible, that's why it's, it's important to, to for more the, the integrity of the company. Yeah, integrity of the company is important. Like I need my companies that I'm supporting with my money, my hard earned money to be integrity, um, to be integrity driven for sure. Um, <laughs> this cream must be very good. Zandra, Moments by Design, I, LOL, I see you love that product. Girlfriends, this product is so good. It really smells good. And it, okay, so let me tell you guys the reason why I love it. Number one, the ingredients are the exact same as the other ingredients. So, um, you know, just for the purposes of refreshing everyone's memory, that maybe you're kind of like watching something else or you don't remember, whatever. Um, the top ingredients are water, coconut oil, high oleic sunflower, sunflower oil, cocoa butter, extra virgin olive oil, organic shea butter, and steric acid and jojoba oil. And it says to treat your skin naturally. Now, you guys, I'm gonna take off my ring so I can put it on because I don't like um, cream getting in my the studs on my ring, but um, or the diamonds on the ring. But I'm gonna go in and take some out. So and I'm gonna go ahead and put some on my hands. It feel it's a very luxurious feel. Like it feels it's cool. It feels very buttery. Like I don't know how. I hope the other ones are like that, but. And it smells really, really good. Like that lemonade scent, that soft lemon slash butter scent, for me, it just smells so relaxing. Like I really like this cream and I'm mad cause like Honey's handmade products are so difficult to get in Canada. But I do feel like this is one of the best creams I've ever tried. I really do enjoy this. And this, this video is not sponsored. These products were not sent to me. They were spent with my own money. So um, I'm telling you guys, fully transparent. There is no, incentive for me to say anything to you and even if they did send the products my way i was still going to be transparent but um these products really are nice and they're not that oily like i mean there's a little bit of product left on the hand still but um for the most part they they, they kind of blend into the skin very nicely um moments by design those are good ingredients though yeah they are really fantastic ingredients for sure for sure zandra i like the feel of bombs on my skin is it similar to a bomb or thicker 
I would say it's similar to a bomb. I feel like a bomb is kind of greasy, no? Like, I feel like this one is more, it's creamy. Like, I guess, yeah, like a light bomb. Like, I've got a little bit of moisture on my hands. So you know how some creams you can get away with putting the cream on your face and then you might be able to do makeup after? I tried that with this and it was just too oily for that. So like, I think this is really good for like, if your skin's are, your skin is super dry, which let's face it, during coronavirus, all the hand washing, all the, 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 what do you call it there? The sanitizer, like that stuff is drying, super, super drying. And so, um, you know, if you're like me and you've been like, you know, washing your hands and putting sanitizer on it 25 million times per day, you're going to need one of these at your disposal or something like it, maybe some type of a cream um, to, to put the moisture back into the skin or else the hands are going to start stripping, which is exactly what happened to me. My hands started stripping. So we all got to be on top of um, our moisturization game in, especially in light of this pandemic and everything. Um, love yourself. Nice that it's not oily and love a good smelling cream, right? Like it's just nice to take a shower. The cream smells good. Your body smells good. It feels good. Like the first time I tried it, I was like, ooh, this is nice. Like it was really, really nice. So, um, Zandra, I feel like this is similar to what I like. I think you would like it, Zandra. I really think you would like it. So we've got a new tradition going on for Curl Chat Wednesday where before I go or before I leave, I like to get to know you guys a little bit more. So I've got five questions for tonight. Um, the first one being, how would you describe your personal style? So I would describe my personal style as a mixture of like classic. <laughs> Zandra said my favorite part. Aw, thank you. This is my favorite part too. I love getting to know you guys. Um, Zandra says cozy. <laughs> yeah, for sure. With pandemic times, cozy is actually accurate. Like, I think I'm really liking this setup on the couch. Like, you guys join me on the couch. We chill. We hang. We get to know each other. It's nice. Um, but I would say my favorite, uh, like, my favorite style, my personal style, sorry, is a mixture of, like, elegant and bohemian. So I really like, like, flowy dresses. I love dresses. Love, 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 love dresses. Um, a video is coming out shortly showing you what I've been wearing recently. Um, I've been meaning to get that video out sooner rather than later, but life's happening. And so the video has been pushed back, pushed back, pushed back, but it's coming. Um, so you, in the, those videos or those types of videos, if you guys like them, you're going to see a lot of dresses. You're going to see a lot of skirt looks, um, you know, blazers and jeans or blazers and dresses or blazers and like, you know, really nice trousers. Like, I just really like the mixture of like elegant and, and bohemian. So like kind of like a chic vibe, right? And like mixing like high and low together. So like maybe you have like an expensive pair of shoes or a more expensive handbag, but then you've got a cheaper dress. Like not everything has to be expensive. Well, everything can't be expensive. <laughs> like we have a budget, um, but you know, there's ways to make things that are affordable look a lot more expensive than they actually are. And that is where like my personal style kind of leans into. So um, yeah, um, Zandra, I definitely get that from you. Aww. <laughs> Aww, Zandra, yes, I want everything on Fine Natural here. Yay, okay, so you guys are interested in seeing fashion. I was a little scared because I was like, you guys come here for hair. Like, I'm not sure if you care to see my style. Um, you know, hair and style are very different or if you care to see fashion from me, but yeah, <laughs> Zandra says, teach me. Okay, girl, if you're willing to learn, I'm willing to teach. I'm willing to share and grow with you guys. Um, love yourself anything black. Yes, black is slimming. I love black, love black. That's one of my favorite colors for the fall and for especially the winter. Like black tends to pull in the sun. So you, you're naturally more warmer because you're wearing black. And it's also so chic. Like there's nothing I love more than like an all black outfit. And it's so easy all black outfit and like a bomb pair of shoes. It could be any shoe. It could be like sneakers, it could be heels, it could be whatever, and you can get away with it. So if you have a pair of shoes that you just don't know what to wear that pair of shoes with, pair it with an all black outfit and I promise you it's gonna be popping. Like, it's just, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Like just how diverse all black can be. Okay, question number two. What's your favorite song right now? 
You guys, I am so late to the game. My husband's gonna laugh at me. This song is literally two years old, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. You guys might have seen it on the last um, Instagram post that I posted. It, no, it was a reel. And it was um, the reel that was featuring, what was it featuring again? I'm forgetting my own reel over here. You guys, like this is, <laughs> there's too much content coming out of Fine Hatcher here, Rocks. Um, what was this? Okay, I'm gonna pull it up. Oh, it was the Rev Rap. So I was showing you guys like the little Rev Revere hairband or whatever. And the song, I don't know if I, I'm scared to play it because like YouTube is gonna like nix me for like playing music because like they're so on top of the copyright, which they should be. Um, but the song is called Jaja from Aya Nakamura. It's so good. I'm not gonna sing it because I'm not gonna do it justice, but um, it's a really good track. And if you guys check out my reel with the little blue headband, you'll get a little glimpse of the song, but it's a really good song. It's like, it's, it's a French song. Um, it kind of has like an Afro beats feel to it. Like I'm really into Afro beats. Um, and yeah, it's a really good song. PSR 076, yes to more fashion. Mine is more simple and classic, but lately real comfy. Yes, I'm with you guys. I'm, I'm with you guys 100% on real comfy. Like there's definitely some days where I'm at work and yeah, the style is so comfy that, you know, it's, it's a no face type of Zoom type of day. <laughs> like just, just voice and that's it. Um, but yes, okay. So I see consensus about more fashion videos. Definitely coming up. Moments by design, definitely my weight, Zandra, but I'm working on it. Yes, the weight thing is a real issue with the pandemic and just being at home all the time. Like, I got to work on my weight as well, too. Full disclosure, definitely got to do something about that. But Zandra, okay. Yeah, the quarantine weight is serious. You know, I've got a few to lose and, and there's real ways to kind of like camouflage it while you work on it so you can still feel sexy, you can still feel the vibes, you can still show off your best assets. I like to show off my legs. That's my favorite part of my body. Um, and so there are ways to show off your legs. There are ways to show off your arms. There are ways to show off a tiny waist. There are ways to minimize the stomach because I know a lot of us ladies don't like the way our stomachs look. There are ways to like really highlight the aspects of your body that you love the most um, and just really look fantastic. Like I like to use clothing to contour my body into like the style that I or the look that I want it to be. And there are ways to do that that like just visually change the way the eye sees the body. Um, and I'm happy to share that with you guys for sure, for sure. Like th this is, I just, I love everything beauty and fashion and hair and like business and, you know, just level up. Like we're leveling up, you know, that's what we're doing over here. We're leveling up. <laughs> Zandra, uh, moments by design definitely can relate. 100%, same, 100%. Zandra, I don't really have a favorite song right now, guys. I like a lot of songs. Yeah. There's a ton of good music coming out. Even with the quarantine, there's a lot of good songs coming out. Love Yourself, don't have a favorite song, but been listening to gospel and Christian rap. That's beautiful. Love Yourself, if you could tell me some good songs, like I really want to like add to my gospel list. Um, haven't been listening to as much lately because I've been so into Afrobeats, but excuse me, I do want to definitely start, you know, back on my gospel and my Christian rap. And like, you know, just like listening to the word and infusing positivity through the word into like um, my day. But Xandra, you have to teach us, girl. Okay, girl, I got you. <laughs> I definitely got you. Okay, question number three. Do you prefer sneakers or heels? Which one, sneakers or heels? So I, when I was in my 20s, I preferred heels, 100%. Like I would wear heels everywhere. I would wear it to school. I would wear it to class, I would wear it to work, I would wear it on the bus, I would wear it walking down the street. Like, literally, I would wear heels everywhere. Now, I I guess, like, my favorite isn't in there, because I like flats. Like, I don't necessarily like sneakers, because, like, for me, like, I like to be a little bit more dressy um, on the daily. But um, between heels and flats, usually I bring two pairs of shoes with me. I know it's a little high maintenance, <laughs> but usually I'll bring like the flats to walk to wherever I'm going because I do live in the city. So um, walking is a big thing and like just wearing heels, like I've almost mashed up myself too many times for that to make sense. So the wearing heels everywhere is done. <laughs> like that's done. Um, but like when I get to my place of, you know, wherever the destination is, um, I like to be able to switch out of the, the flats and into some heels. So, um, yeah, heels are for me, for sure. I'm a heels girl. 
Um, Moments by Design. I don't have a favorite song, but my favorite artist right now is Jonathan McReynolds. You know what? I'm going to reveal to you guys just how out of the loop I am. I have no idea who that is. So Moments by Design, what genre is that? And what song would you suggest? Because I'm definitely going to check it out. Xandra's, Sneakers, I Can't Stand Heels, LOL. You know what? Without you telling me that, Xandra, I had a feeling you were a sneakers girl. I had a feeling. <laughs> I totally had a feeling. I don't know what it is, but I just had a feeling you were going to say you're a sneakers girl. Maybe you said it before. I don't know. Um, love yourself. Yes, I love Jonathan. Oh, my goodness. So I feel like I'm totally out of the loop. Like, I should know who Jonathan is. <laughs> I should know. Um, hurts my feet. I have wide feet. That makes sense, Sandra. Like, heels are very painful. And I don't ever remember them being comfortable. Like, the lower the heel is, certainly the better. And, like, the wider it is, certainly the better. Like, wedges are very comfortable um, for most people, especially if you're not accustomed to wearing heels. But um, yeah, you're right. Like, they're just not comfy. Like, they're not meant to be comfy. They're meant to just be sexy. And that's it. Like, some people say, like, they're very comfy in heels. They're not. They're lying. <laughs> like, they're not comfy in heels. Like, I saw something, even from Beyonce herself, Queen B herself said that her feet little, literally will bleed because she dances in her heels. She walks in her heels. She does everything in her heels. And she was like, I just, like, you know, grin through it. I go through the pain, whatever, like pain is beauty. So yeah, like even those people who you see rocking it all the time, like it's nothing. They're feeling the pain, girlfriend. They're definitely feeling the pain. PSR 076, sneakers. Okay. Sneaker gang, 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 gang. <laughs> Moments by design. I prefer sneakers. Oops. I'm missing some comments here. Okay. Moments by design. I prefer sneakers. I'm so doggone clumsy. <laughs> Don't kill me. You know what? If you know for a fact that like sneakers are gonna like save your life as opposed to heels, then yeah, for sure. The sneakers are making sense. Love yourself, flops and sandals. Okay. Uh Xandra's posting. What is that? That looks like a little poodle. <laughs> sneakers. Um, Lavinia with the little arrow, lol. Nope, I've never said it before, but I think you can tell from my haul video. Yes, it was your haul video. So Xandra recently did like a fashion haul video and she showed off a bunch of looks. They're really cool looks. I really appreciated looking at it because it's a style that's different from my own. And I had like some ideas in case, you know, you want to switch it up, kind of, you know, switch up on them. And yeah, I think that's where I caught it from. The, you were like a, a, a sneakers chick. Uh, Moments by Design, Jonathan McReynolds is gospel. Listen to Moving On. Okay, got it. I'm going to listen to Moving On next. I love that. I love that. Xandra, if I liked heels, I think I would have paired my outfits with heels. For sure. Like, you know, heels, sandal, sandals. Yeah, I guess sandals too. Like most shoes can accommodate an outfit. It just depends on how you do it for sure. Um, he's on my YouTube playlist. I'm going to check him out. I think like the fact that you guys are, both love yourself and Moments by Design are like bigging up Jonathan Reynolds, I've got to check him out. Like I, I really love good gospel music. I love anything positive and yeah, definitely checking it out. Xandra, laugh my ass. I'm good on that. I don't want bunions, right? Like nobody wants bunions. Like that's not cute. <laughs> my aunt scared me by showing hers one day. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Heels will definitely break your feet up. Like a whole new one will like just kill it. Completely, totally kill it. Okay. Let's find question number four. Okay. Let's see. What's your favorite movie? Every time this question comes up, I struggle. Cause like, I feel like I don't have a favorite movie. Like I feel like I see things and I like it. And like, because I, I like things so easily, I find like, I'm not a hard audience at all. Like the fact that you took the time. Okay. That's a lie. Cause I've seen some bad movies, but the fact that like someone took the time to like, you know, write the script, get a crew, produce, get background extras. Like it's a lot. It's a lot. And like, I've, so like I've done acting, I am an actress on the side. Um, and it's a lot of work, you guys, like it's a lot of work. So um, I have a special respect for movies. But um, that being said, I see a couple girlfriends are responding. Xandra says Scarface. That's a classic, classic, classic. Love Yourself says Dirty Dancing, another classic, super duper classic. Xandra, I was a G in a previous life for sure. <laughs> yes, you were, girlfriend. You totally were a G. In a previous life, I I, I co-signed that one. 
Um, I, yeah, Dirty Dancing was a good one, right, Zandra? Right, Love Yourself? That was a really, 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 really good movie. Um, I would have to say my favorite movie. Oh my gosh, I don't think I have one. I don't think I have a favorite movie. Most by Design, oh yeah, I saw you on a Cheerios commercial. <laughs> Maybe. Um, there was a really popular commercial. It, I think they're still showing it. The commercial that I did was for Yoplait. So it was like a Gogurt commercial. That was a lot of fun. And I had like a little daughter and it was cute. It was kind of cool that they like matched me up with like a little girl that kind of looked like me. She had dimples too. And I had like a fake son, an uh, on-camera son. <laughs> it was really cool. It was really, really cool. Yeah, Xandra saw that Yoplait commercial. Um, and I was also in something called, I don't know if you guys have it over there, called Robert's. Is it Robert? Uh, what is it called? It's kind of like an employment agency. I had to like jump over a dog. That was quite interesting. And then there was like a movie, like a small movie that I was in. Like, I don't know. I just feel like love is meant to be, love. Life is meant to be lived. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Xander almost hollered. Yeah, you guys. Your crow-friendly lawyer's a little crazy. <laughs> uh, but honestly, no, life is meant to be lived. If you guys have passions, if there's something you've ever wanted to try, like, try it. Do it. Live your life to the fullest. Don't care about who's going to judge you, what you think people might say, what you think people... Because believe me, crow friends, all of those decisions, like this YouTube channel, you know, being an actress, like, all of these are, like, I was scared to do these things because it's not in alignment with, like, what a lawyer really um or stereotypically what a lawyer would do but at the end of the day we're all individuals we're all we all have multifacets we all have you know varying degrees of interest and so i think it's really positive to like you know enjoy yourself in this one life that we have to live like live girl live <laughs> uh xandra nope i didn't see that girl i absolutely love seeing living in movies or commercials oh thank you girlfriend i mean i don't know how far that acting career is going because like I kind of slowed down on the auditions. The last time I did an audition was like maybe a, a month ago or two or three weeks ago. Um, I didn't hear back from them. Um, there was a voiceover as well, but love yourself. I was on a local channel dance entertainment show when I was younger. Oh my gosh, I didn't know that. That is so cool. Love yourself, tell us about that. You see how tidbits of information come out when you just dig properly for it? Oh my gosh, love yourself. You're gonna have to give us some details, man. You're gonna have to definitely give us some details. I still need to give you guys my favorite movie. Okay, so I'll put out a couple favorites since I don't have a favorite. I love Love and Basketball. That was like, ugh, best movie ever. Like, I don't know, it's just, it, it, it's one of those early movies that like just stuck with me, you know? Like I really like Love and Basketball. I love Sanai Lathan. I love Omar Epps, like just love that movie. Um, what other movie did I like? I love The Notebook. Um, I, can you see it like a trend here? Like I love like sappy like love movies or like chick flicks, that type of a thing. I also really liked Inception. Like Inception made me think. Inception made me really like move my mind into a place where I was like, oh wow, like this can go so many different ways. So that was a really cool movie to watch. I like the Bad Boys franchise. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, Little Fires Everywhere. Was that a movie? I think, I don't know if that was a movie with Kerry Washington and um, what's her name? Like Reese Witherspoon. Um, that was a really good, if it wasn't a movie, I think it might've been a TV series. It was good though. Um, love yourself. Yes, I love to dance and was in a dance crew. That is so cool. Uh, Moments by Design. Oh, I'm missing a bunch of stuff. Okay. Xandra, don't put yourself in a box, period. Exactly, exactly. We are multifaceted, amazingly talented human beings. We should not be starving the world of our talents. Everybody has a talent to offer. Everybody can make it. And if they, you know what I mean? Like everybody can make it, trust me. Um, love yourself. I was on a local channel dance entertainment show and I was like, oh, that's so, I love that. A um, moment's my design, I told my dad I know her. Then I was like, well, through the internet. <laughs> You're so cute. I can't believe you see like they're really milking that commercial like I mean I got paid pretty well for it so and you know a lot of exposure from it so I'm really happy to work to the crew but um it's it's just so funny what it looks like on the back end when you're recording and then what it turns into 
once the recording is actually out there and it's a full production and it's all cleaned up and ready to be seen. Like, it's actually pretty interesting. Um, okay. That's really cool, Love Yourself. The dance group bit, like, I love dancers. Like, that was one of the favorite things that I used to like watching back in undergrad and like in high school, like the dancers would come out and like they would, even to this day, like when there's new music that drops, I'm like on YouTube looking at the dance groups, like to see like what the choreographers are doing, like who's remixing the track, who's like, you know, adding a new flavor to the move. Like, I love it. Absolutely love it. Um, Xandra, The Notebook is one of my favorites, right? And Inception, BB3 was amazing. Yes, it was. Although my heart stopped when Will got shot. Oh, you know what? Let me stop because I don't know if people have seen this. So I don't want to give any, um, and I've got actually a whole video about my Netflix favorites right here on Financial Hair Rock. So if you guys are looking for some new Netflix stuff, it's over there as well. Uh, Moments by Design, there was a mini series, Little Fires Everywhere. That was a fantastic mini series. And the acting was the bomb.com, the everything. Like it was just, it was a good, I liked the underlying message. I think that that movie is on trend with what's happening right now. Just a really, really good production for sure. Love yourself, like hip hop break dance. Wow. Oh my gosh. I can tell you're talented. Like that, that's talent. And that takes like so much dedication and so much like persistence to just keep on going. Like that's fantastic. Zandra, uh, sorry, Moments by Design. I've been in some plays, but not on TV yet. Is it acting phenomenal? Like I love like live acting because, or like theater work. That's what it is called theater. Because like, I feel like it's the same it's similar skill sets as like acting for t television and commercial, but at the same time, it's different because you have to project your voice and you really have to like modify whatever it is that you're doing and saying so that people in the back of the theater can hear and understand from like your body. Like it, it's just, I feel like you have to think about different things um, as, as opposed to like in film television, which is what we call like TV commercial. Like I haven't done any theater work, but I have done a lot of film television and I love it. I absolutely love it. Zandra, um, I love choreography. I think I could create choreography. You probably could. I would be so interested to see what you come up with. Like, I really would. I love creativity. Like, I feel like that could be really, really cool. Love yourself. It's exercise now, like TikTok dances. Yes, start a TikTok, love yourself. I would totally like join that or even put it on like Insta now that they've bought the new reels. Once they like kink out like the issues with it, but um, yeah. Yes, Moments by Design, you hit it on the notch. Theater work is definitely much more pronounced than um, film television. Because film television is like, everything you do on film, on film, film television, um, it the screen magnifies it. Like you really don't need to do much for the screen to get it. But I feel like with theater, like the bigger, the better. I think anyways, like, I, again, I don't have any theater training. So I'm definitely um, just kind of like thinking on this here. Um, and as I'm talking to you guys about this, I'm realizing that I need to figure out when my acting classes re begin, but <laughs> um, just note to self. Um, okay, question number five. Uh, okay, what, hold on, there's a couple of weird ones here. Let me find a nice one for us. Ooh, okay. I don't know if you guys have a sweet tooth, but what's your favorite dessert? What is your favorite dessert? I like Milfoy. Mil I think you guys might call it Napoleon. I don't think it's the same though. Like I was gonna say you might call it Napoleon cake in the US, but I don't think Milfoy is the same. So to give you guys an understanding of what Milfoy is, um, Milfoy is this like, it's so delicious. Just thinking about it makes me want one right now. There's like a little bakery, like a little French bakery about 20 minute walk from my apartment. And my husband and I like every so often we'll walk over there and get a little piece of milfoy and we'll share it because it's like a really rich dessert. But um, PSR 076 says she doesn't like dessert. Oh, wow. Okay. So what's your favorite instead of dessert? What would you have? What would you have instead of dessert? Um, Zandra, sweet potato pie. Mmm. That sounds delicious. Moments by design, I love almost all sweets, right? <laughs> you know, there's no sweets that I will ever say no to. Like, I pretty much love them all too. Like, 
serious sweet tooth. Serious, serious sweet tooth. Xandra, but I eat cookies more often because I like homemade sweet potato pie. That sounds delicious. Like, so good. So milfoy is a blend of like these really flaky layers with like a soft um, whipped kind of cream in the middle. And there's like about three or four layers of that. So what the, and then the top is like this kind of like a glaze kind of, it's not really a chocolate. Like it's like a frosting almost with like a drizzle of chocolate on top or like a drizzle of like, a, yeah, like a, a very, very light drizzle. So the first layer is, um, the first layer is the flaky base. And then you get that whipped cream. Then another flaky base, whipped cream, flaky base, whipped cream, flaky base, whipped cream, flaky base. And then on the last flaky base is like that glaze. So like the, um, the what do you call it there? The frosting, which is like, oh, so delicious. And it's hard, like it's a really hard frosting. So like it, you gotta almost like crack the top. And then um, on top of that is like a drizzle of chocolate and it is so good. It's a French cake called Milfoy and I love it. And talking about it right now, I think I'm gonna need some Milfoy. <laughs> like, it is so good. Um, we don't eat it very often cause it's very fattening um, and it's extremely, it's a hard pastry to make. So you'll find a lot of places don't actually carry it um, and if they do carry it, you can only get it by order only. Um, and so the one that we usually get, like just like a little piece of milfoy like this big is like eight bucks. Like it's an expensive cake too. So it's not something we eat very often, but because the calories expense, all that stuff. And, and just, it's not good to be eating so much sweets, but so good. Okay. Let me jump back into the comments. Uh, PSR 076 is a picky eater. Okay, we got a picky eater in the crow friend crew. That's probably good for the waistline. Like, I wish I was a picky eater. <laughs> Love yourself. I'm addicted to chocolate covered pretzels. Oh, that sounds so yummy. That reminds me of chocolate covered almonds. I love chocolate covered almonds. They're so good. Chocolate covered strawberries for the win, Zandra. Oh, they're so delicious. So delicious. Um, Xandra, I've never heard of this dessert, Lavinia. <laughs> it's probably a good thing you haven't heard of it. It's a French dessert. Um, and like, you'll only get it at a French bakery. So like, if you went to like a, um, a French boulangerie, um, you'll find it there. Uh, and like, because Canada is of course, like two multi -lang two um, official languages, two official, I guess, colonizing cultures. Um, you know, we've got the French, we've got the Canadian. So you can generally find a French bakery um, around the place, but um, yeah, like you're, you, I, I, I know why you haven't heard of it, Xandra, because like every time I go to the States and I ask for Milfoy, people are like, Mil what? <laughs> like, girl, what are you talking about? Like, and then I'm like, it's kind of like a Napoleon cake, but not really. Um, so yeah, you, you gotta go specifically to like a French bakery to get it. PSR 076, wow, too much sugar, right? It's a lot of sugar. Like your teeth will feel strange for a bit after that. I mean, if you're anything like me, you really don't care, but um, it is a lot of sugar. Like if you're not someone who likes sugar, you're not gonna like milk boy, for sure. Um, Xandra, I don't like cake that much unless it's cheesecake. Mmm, cheesecake is nice. I like cheesecake. I like cheesecake a lot. Moments by design, LOL, okay, well, full disclosure, I'm not a fan of most commercially made cakes and pies. Small bakery or homemade definitely has my name on it though. Oh, yes, yes, yes. Small bakery, homemade. It just hits different for sure. Like when a bake, a piece of like cake or bread or cookie or some type of baked good is from a home kitchen, it definitely does hit differently. And you know what? I feel like marketers know that because they will like try to market their stuff and advertise their stuff as like homemade this or homemade that. So yeah, yeah, for sure. What was by design? This cake sounds rich. It is rich. It's so rich. It's rich. You know what? It kind of is rich, but not really. So like that last layer on top is definitely rich and it's very thin, but then like the layers in the middle. So like the flaky piece is a light flaky. And then even the whipped cream in the middle is very light too. So, um, I find it's very light. Like even the way it is, like it sits like this, but literally if you were to put pressure on it, you could bring it all the way down here and it would just stay there. 
Like you could, like, I mean, it would also spill out because it's in layers, right? Like just the way how you would layer a lasagna, that's how you layer Malfoy. Um, I don't know. Let me see if I can get a picture of it. Because I think I can like share my screen with you guys. Uh, now I'm like looking to share Malfoy. Okay, let's see if we can find some Malfoy for you. <laughs> so it's spelt the French way. I don't know if you guys are, oh, it's not sharing. Okay, I don't know what happened there. So it's not sharing. Um, let's try this again. Share, there we go. Is it sharing? It's not sharing. Okay, so Google, um, I'm gonna put it in the comment if, you, if you're interested, or maybe I'm just going on about Milfoy too much. If, if that's the case, then ignore. <laughs> but if you're interested, this is what Milfoy is. This is how you spell it, the French way. Okay, um, Xander, I wish I was a picky eater too, right? I'd be several LB smaller if I was a picky eater. Um, <laughs> let's see. Love yourself. I used to make and sell personalized chocolate covered strawberries, even ones with liquor in them for family and friends. That sounds delicious. If I had access to that, I would certainly purchase from you because those little kinds of like, um, you know, like little pastries or little like goods or like hors d'oeuvres or whatever, like those are do really, really well for hosting. Um, and they just taste yummy. Moments by design, I like white chocolate covered pretzels. Mmm. Sandra, can we do more questions? I'm having fun getting to know you guys. Ah, okay, yes. We're gonna let's do two more questions. Um, I'm gonna stick around for two more questions. Xandra, wait, um, you can't you can share the screen on StreamYard? Yeah, you can share the screen on you can share the screen <laughs> on StreamYard, but mine is saying something crazy about like, I don't know, like it's not it lost like permission or something like that to, to allow the screen. I don't know. Like, I feel like I have to go in the back end and I don't want to waste you guys time watching me try to tinker with this. So for the next time, for sure, I, I should be able to fix that so that we can um, do that again. Um, Zandra, I would have never got that spelling right. I know it's, it's totally in French. Like it's definitely French. Uh, Moments by design. Okay, I'm going to Google this. Xandra, yay, right? Yeah, like I love hanging with you guys. Um, always technical difficulties. I'm telling you, like StreamYard doesn't want to let us be great. <laughs> they don't. Uh, technology is crazy sometimes. It is, it totally is, love yourself. That pastry looks good you were talking about, right? Oh, I really want some now, like I'm gonna go find it. Tomorrow I'm gonna go get some. Like all this Milfoy talk, like I need some Milfoy in my life, it's so good. Okay, let's do question number six by Xandra's demand, or not demand, request. <laughs> I was gonna say popular demand and then popular dropped off of the, the thought and Xandra was replaced. So Xandra, you're on my mind. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's see. What's a food combination that you enjoy that others might find weird? A food combination that you enjoy that others might find weird. So I would say I enjoy French fries and ice cream. What do you guys think of that? So like, it's this very specific one though. I like French fries and ice cream from like McDonald's. So I haven't done it in a really long time, but like they're flurry like the, the Oreo cookie flurry with like the McDonald's French fries, it tastes so good. Like anytime you go on a road trip and we end up getting McDonald's, that's like literally my meal. Like <laughs> if I'm not that hungry, I'll end up with like a McFlurry, like a cookies and cream McFlurry and the, and the, <laughs> Sandra said, ew. <laughs> and then I dip the French fry inside the ice cream. Cause it's like that sweet and salty effect, right? Moments by design, eggs and tomatoes. Hmm, I like that. I'm down for eggs and tomatoes. PSR 076, holy middle boy. I didn't realize this was the one, right? Oh, so you like it too, PSR? Am I getting hyped for no reason? Please tell me I don't, I'm not getting hyped for no reason. 
Zandra, this and scrambled eggs with tomatoes. Yeah, you don't do that. Zandra, you don't eat eggs with tomatoes? I eat eggs with tomatoes all the time. They taste good. Zandra, guys, I don't think I have one. You must have one. Okay, let me let me give some suggestions to jog mem. Cucumbers with vinegar. Yeah, that works. Like I I would I would eat that. I'm telling you, I'm not picky though. So maybe I'm not a good judge of this because like I like food. I like trying random things. So I feel like cucumbers would be like balsamic vinegar, like a salad -y type of feel. Um, this, moments by design. LOL, yes, I had it summer when I traveled and I started doing it. Yeah, right? Like, <laughs> trust me. These are 076. No, I don't like it, but I know what it is. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So I'm getting hyped for no reason. Um, Xandra, only if it's omelets. Love yourself. I don't have a strange combo. Okay. This, moments by design. I like cucumbers with vinegar. That's pickles. <laughs> I don't like pickles, by the way. Like, I don't mind cucumbers with vinegar, but for me, pickles, they're just too salty. Like, why do I have so much salt for? Like, and you know what I don't get as well? I, I, I don't know. If you guys are into this, I'm so sorry for what I'm about to say next, but I do not get Caesars. I don't understand it. Why would you want to drink salt? Why would you want to drink tomato juice? Like, that is just so disgusting. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> I really don't understand. Um, Xandra, I don't feel like I have a strange combo either. Um, Kamira Jules, hey Kamira, what is up, girlfriend? It's been a minute, we've missed you. Thank you for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We really, really missed you. Welcome back, girl. You are love. Look at all the girlfriends shouting you each other out. We're just playing. So, basically, what we did, Kamira, really quick cliff notes. We went through some of my Honey's Handmade a, a product batch that I bought um, for the first time. And now we're going through some questions to get to know each other better. So um, nothing too crazy. We all just chilling out here. The last question was, what's a weird food combination that you like that other people might think is weird? So some of us said um, cucumbers and vinegar. I saw, um, so Moments by Design said cucumbers with vinegar. Somebody else said, I think, who else said cucumbers with vinegar? Somebody else said that. Or maybe it was just Moments by Design. Oh, Xandra said she likes cucumbers with vinegar as well. Um, yeah, I said that I like um, ice cream and french fries, like dipping the french fry into the ice cream from McDonald's. That was really good. Oh, Xandra, fries with mustard. That's French, actually. No, 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 no. French is fries with mayonnaise. Yeah, that's a little strange, Zandra. <laughs> that's a little strange. You, 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 you got that one. I think that's a little strange. Like, I, I don't think I would eat fries with mustard. I like my fries with ketchup or mayonnaise or both, but not mustard. So, yeah. Oh, hold on. PSR zero seventy six. It's a French dessert in any patisseries. It's available. Yeah, it is. Um, you can definitely find Milfoy um, at most of those spots. Most of them. Yeah, I don't know about that fries and mustard thing. Like, even PSR 76, <laughs> everyone's dying at that one. That's a, that's a new one for sure. I, I don't know anybody who eats fries with mustard. Um, that might just be as strange as my ice cream and french fries thing. I think it is. Um, I do too. I only eat it with mustard when I don't have ketchup. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So it's like a either or type situation. <laughs> it's an either or situation. Don't kill me. That is so funny. Um, what's, okay, let's see. Let's see what we got on the list. Hmm. Ooh, this is a fun one. Who's your ultimate celebrity crush? Who is your ultimate celebrity crush? My ultimate celebrity crush is, you have a bunch. I would say, Camira Jules, ice cream and french fries is common. I've never tried it though. Oh, okay. You know what? Yeah, okay. In that case, I don't know. 
ketchup and eggs. Does that work? Do you guys think that's random? Sandra, Chad, Michael Murray from One Tree Hill. <laughs> Celebrity crushing hard over there. I see you. I see you. So, oh, for me, Morris Chestnut. Morris Chestnut. I've got a couple, actually. I like Morris Chestnut. For the longest while, I had a huge celebrity crush on Michael Ely. Um, I don't anymore. For some reason, like, I grew out of it. Like, I don't know how that happens, but in that case, it did. Um, who else? Will Smith. Will Smith's a cutie. Um, who else? Um, what's his name? Oh, I'm seeing his face. I'm forgetting his name. Oh, man. Let's see. So, okay, I have a lot, though. PSR 076, no, you could eat with salt. You could eat it with salt on your fries. That's true. Um, ketchup and eggs is the same as tomatoes and eggs. <laughs> Moments by design, that's true. <laughs> it's the same thing. It's the exact same thing. Xandra, man, Morris Chestnut is so good looking. PSR, right? How can one man be so fine? Like, how can one man be so fine? Like, I'm sorry. My husband's up in here. My husband's super fine. But... Morris Chestnut, like globally, women are going crazy over Morris Chestnut. Like youngins, old, oldies, middleies, like none of those are words. But yeah, he's very, very, very good looking man. Like I swear he looks bad in nothing, like absolutely nothing. Um, and I feel that way about Will Smith too. I think Will Smith is very, very, very handsome. I loved him in um, Fresh Prince. I love the way he's like aged. Like he's like a fine wine. He's just getting finer and finer by time although he was looking a little like you know a little rusty over the pandemic but eh, i'll give him a i'll, I'll give him a blight for that because you know like the pandemic had all of us looking a little rusty around the edges but will smith is still fine uh Zandra likes force whitaker moments by design i grew out of all of my celebrity crushes i think oh you know who i used to have the biggest celebrity crush on it's so embarrassing to say you know what i'm just gonna I'm gonna keep that to myself because it's actually really embarrassing. <laughs> Who used to be my celebrity crush? I'm just gonna zip it on that one. Um, PSR 076, his son looks like him. Whose son? Forrest Whitaker's son? Does Forrest Whitaker have a son? Love yourself, Lorenz Tate, Frederick Leonard. Yes, yes, absolutely yes. Um, oh, I was gonna say, like, <laughs> Sandra, you're rude. You're mean. <laughs> you're mean. That's so evil. Do not kill me. This girl said it was a joke. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I I shouldn't be laughing this hard. I'm done. I'm done. I promise I'm done. Okay, <laughs> PSR is just a these <laughs> Morris's son. Um, Zandra laughed my ass off a running joke with my man. <laughs> Honestly, did you guys notice how when you said Forrest Whitaker, I was like, I was like, okay. <laughs> <That's> actually, <laughs> you guys are killing me. You guys are killing me. <laughs> the moment's fine is fine. Said a little while. Love yourself. I wasn't gonna judge. <laughs> I can't. That one gave me tears. Zandra, you're good. <laughs> Zandra, yo, honestly, I was like, <laughs> in the back of my mind, I was like, <laughs> yo, yeah. oh my god. <laughs> That's hilarious. That is so hilarious. Whatever moments your vote, moments by design. Hey, I said to each his own and keep it pushing. <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I was gonna I was trying my hardest to like just keep moving with it. I was like, I don't have nothing good to say about this, so I'm gonna leave it alone. <laughs> another one tonight we're on another one tonight don't kill me 
Oh my gosh, that is hilarious. I mean, I'm sure he has a really nice personality. <laughs> I'm sure it's a beautiful personality. I'm sure. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so funny. That is actually really funny. <laughs> Sandra, you're a fool for that one. <laughs> and as if for all, all of us, like collectively, everybody just acted like it didn't happen. Nobody was like, nobody in the crow chat was like, Say what? Like everybody just kept it moving like nothing happened. Moments by design, hey, there are women out there who love him. Why couldn't you be the one? That's true. That's very, very true. That is very, very true. Sandra, I'm sorry, y'all. Lava, I had to do it. That was too funny. The whole curl chat kept it moving. Every single last one of us was like, oh, okay. It kept it moving. Oh my gosh. That is so funny. That is so funny. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how to follow up on that one, man. Like, you know? Um, we kept it moving to each his own, right? Love yourself. We saw it. I feel like we all booked it and we were all just like, I'm going to keep going on that because I, I don't know. Like, you know, like everyone's vision, everybody. I, Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. <laughs> I feel like that's what everybody was thinking at that moment. Xandra, you definitely put a, you put more than a smile on our faces. You put a belly laugh on our faces. Like that was hilarious. I'm that that's the joke of the night for me. For real, for real. Like that is actually way too funny. Like you you're hilarious. Um who else? I think that's my list. Like, there's somebody else who I'm, I'm forgetting right now. Like, I feel like I saw him at Essence Fest. He walked past us. And, yeah, I just, I was like, whoo, like, this guy's really, really hot. Um, Moments by Design, Natri Zandra, I was like, oh, so y'all not going to say nothing about it? <laughs> right? <laughs> we all just <laughs> kept it moving. I'm telling you, girl, I'm telling you, we were all just like, I'm just gonna leave this one right where it is. Not gonna call nobody out. If you love him, you love him. It is what it is. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> a belly laugh design moments by design said that was a belly laugh, right? Trust me, love yourself. We did need that. We totally needed that. Xandra, I'm glad I made you guys have a good belly laugh. Yo! I'll take it. I love to laugh. I love to have a good time. My cheeks are actually hurting me because that was really, really, that was flipping hilarious. Like, hilarious. So, yeah, y'all. I had every intention to stay here until 10. And it is now 11.02. We had some, tonight was fun. I hope you guys had fun because I had a lot of fun. I'm having fun. Um, moments by design, the crow friends are an accepting bunch, right? <laughs> like, we just let things go. We just let things slide. We let things be, you know, we do that. That's true. We are an accepting bunch. I, I agree with you moments by design. Zandra, this is the most accepting group of women ever. <laughs> hey, we weren't about to call out one of us. Mm -mm. Definitely not. Although you might've gotten a, a little DM from me saying, um, girl, really? Really? Nah. But yeah, guys, thank you so much for tonight. Thank you for the belly laugh. Thank you for the fun. Um, I really like that get to know you portion of our lives. If you guys want me to keep it, I will. Um, because I think it's fun to talk hair and then to like jump into getting to know each other. Judgment free zone here, exactly, right? Moments by design? Exactly. Judgment free zone. This was a lot of fun, Zandra. Totally a lot of fun. So yeah, you guys, right now we are sitting at 815 curl friends. Thank you so much for the love, you guys. The goal is to hit a thousand curl friends. That's the goal. So a thousand subscribers. If you know anyone who cares about these topics or who would enjoy being a part of the curl friend crew, definitely invite them. Um, there's so many benefits to being a part of the curl friend crew nice positive group of women you know we're all kind of dedicated to the level up and of course there's those girlfriend crew deals coming your way um that i'm
forever going to be, you know, flexing these negotiating skills to get to you. So, yeah, if you know anybody who likes that kind of a stuff, then let them know so they can come on and be a part of the girlfriend crew. So Friday, um, a new video is coming out, of course, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I will be back in the Curl Chat premiere box um, to watch the video with you guys as usual and to also, um, yeah, just connect at the end of the week. So, um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, it was fun. Everyone's so cool. Right, love yourself. Zandra, so what if I said flavor flav? I'm done. <laughs> I'm done. Let me stop, guys. The silly is of me because I didn't like flavor flav. I would have said the exact same thing. I would have been like, okay, flavor flav, that's nice. Next. <laughs> I'm joking. Flavor flav, yeah, no. Mm -mm. No. Although I think between Flavor Flav and Forest Whitaker, I would take Forest Whitaker. Like between Flavor Flav, like there's just something about that vibe. This like, not only is it irritating to look at, it's irritating to like be around too. Like it's just too much. It's too much. Um, most by design, we would all have been just like okay, right? We definitely would have been like oh, okay. Uh, I cannot. Okay, moments by design. I'm gonna keep the Q and A. Q&A is here to stay. That's a permanent feature of Curl Chat Wednesday. You guys are the best. Thank you again, you guys. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on uh, Friday is the next upload. And if you want to connect with me in between Friday or today and Friday, then I'm always active on Instagram. My handle is fine, natural hair rocks. Love you guys so much. Thank you very, very much for an amazing Wednesday night, an amazing Curl Chat Wednesday. Um, you guys will never know how full my heart is. Actually, maybe you will. I don't know. But I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. And yeah, I'll see you guys on Friday. Bye. <laughs>